trailer for London Has Fallen, the sequel to the 2013 action film Olympus Has Fallen, has been released. The movie is directed by Babak Najafi and stars Gerard Butler as a Secret Service agent that accompanies the President of the United States, played by Aaron Eckhart, to the London funeral of the British Prime Minister. Of course, things aren't as they seem, and a plot to assassinate the President begins as he is visiting London. The movie also stars Morgan Freeman, Angela Bassett, Robert Forster, Jackie Earl Haley, and Melissa Leo. London Has Fallen hits theaters March 4th, 2016. Josh, do you buy or sell the trailer for London Has Fallen? Okay, what was the... There was Olympus Has Fallen, then what was the Jamie Fox in? The White House Down. White House Down. With Channing Tatum. Right, okay, so that movie stunk. Mm -hmm. But Olympus Has Fallen, I really liked. Mm -hmm. I I enjoyed that. This trailer, I, I will say ton of fun how long is this movie this this trailer <laughs> looked like seven different movies in one this movie looked really long full of explosions the fact that london they show a couple wide shots of london and it looks like it's just on fire it looks like dresden mm-hmm. in world war ii um that looked really cool the, the the effects of all those explosions and and all that kind of stuff gerard butler looks badass i like aaron eckhart i love Anytime, like I love the show Homeland, so anytime you get the Middle East involved and some sort of terrorist plot with world leaders and stuff, I'm on board. I'm buying. Okay, I, I do buy this trailer, but I'm the opposite of you. I'm one of those people who I saw Olympus has fallen in in the theater. And okay. I thought it was only okay. Okay, I actually liked White House okay. Down. <laughs> right. I, it's really cheesy, but I think it's done so in a way that like it's done on purpose. There's something about Roll, uh, Roland Emmerich's films where he's like. He kind of like is tongue in cheek, and so, so that scene with Jamie Foxx and the Jordans. Come on, I, I, I thought it was hilarious when they're driving the limousine in circles yes. around the lawn. I I honestly think he did it on purpose, and okay. it's just fun. And like the ending with the kid, the daughter with the the flag waving yeah. the flag. I just very Independence yeah, Day. Yeah, okay. I thought that was hilarious. Uh, that maybe that's just me. However, I am looking forward to London is falling. Yeah. I, I look at the trailer, and it doesn't blow me away or anything, but it looks like it's. It has a much bigger budget. One of my complaints about Olympus has fallen. When I watched it, I was like, wow. I, it's like a lot of the effects were really cheaply done. Yeah. Like I was like, I could do those at home on, on, on my system. They went zero to 60 on London has fallen. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. they, they, they made so much, or not so much money, but it made money. So they're like, yeah. let's invest some more and m- sure. make it look a lot better. So I'm actually looking forward to it. Anton Fuqua, though, directed the first one, but he's not back for this one. And what, what's this director's name? Babak Najafi? Yeah. I'm not really familiar with his work. The only thing that I see on his uh, IMDb that I would know is he directed a couple episodes of Banshee. Oh, yeah. So Do you watch Banshee? No, but I heard it's it's pretty good. Banshee is an action movie every mm-hmm. episode. Um, so if he has his hands in this, I'm excited to see what he does with, uh, with London Has Fallen. Because okay. Banshee's a great show. Okay. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.